Well, January 2022 marks 40 years of being a police officer, 20 years as a chief of police, making my next guest the longest serving active chief of police in Canada. Pleased to welcome to Halton News, Halton Chief of Police, Stephen J. Tanner. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thanks so much. It's great to join you here and uh, thank you for having me. Well, let's go way back. And I mean, we're going to we're going to rewind here as a kid. You're growing up in Oakville. Was being a police officer always what you wanted to do? You know, it uh, it wasn't necessarily. It was uh, I grew up in here. I knew about the police. I knew where their office was, uh, their old, old office. Uh, but I actually went to university for the first time uh, thinking I was going to become a veterinarian and uh, went to the University of Guelph. And then that switched. And I did a couple of different academic sorts of things at the University of Guelph and uh, choosing between law school and policing. Ultimately, I had two cousins who were quite a bit older than me that were Toronto and then Peel officers. Um, so I knew a little bit about policing, but it's not like, you know, since I was six, uh, I knew this is what I wanted to be, but uh, made the, I applied to three services and Halton was one of them in 1982 and was lucky enough Halton was the first to hire me. And uh, Started here in September of uh, 1982, just before or just after turning 22 years old. Well, that does take us way back. Now, you, for the past 20 years, though, you have been a chief of police, now in Halton, but stops in Belleville and Kingston on the way. How would you say Halton is unique from your two other stops? You know, it's uh, I had a, a quick stop as a deputy chief in Guelph and then a deputy and a chief in Belleville for uh, a chief for six years and then Kingston for four. I've been back here now for 10. Um, obviously, I mean, Halton is a much larger service and uh, regional municipality, of course, but each of our cities are, are bigger than uh, the Bellevilles and Kingstons of the world. So it's much more, uh, we're much more urban here. We're much more a part of the GTA. We're impacted more by some of the crime trends and the guns and gangs and uh, fentanyl is everywhere and guns and gangs are everywhere. Uh, but we are a part of the GTA here. And we're one of the largest uh, of the big 12 police services that we refer to in, in the province of Ontario. We're also very blessed on the socioeconomic side uh, here in Halton, generally. I mean, we have poverty, uh, we have homelessness, not as much as, uh, as some of our neighbors uh, deal with. So it's a very, it's a very unique uh, combination of Oakville, Burlington, Milton and Halton Hills we have here. Now, for someone that was born in Oakville and, you know, Halton was also the first place you became a police officer, when you did come back to become you know, chief of police here, was, is there a sense of ownership and pride in coming back to the region that you got started in? Yeah, you know, I think there is. I mean, uh, honestly, there is a true sense of pride in every police service and, and all of the men and women I worked with and the communities I had an opportunity to work with across the uh, those other three services in, in Guelph and, and Belleville and Kingston. But Halton is home. Uh, it's coming back also to where I started policing. Uh, so there were a lot of uh, sort of policing routes here. My All my operational experiences in policing, whether it was you know, frontline patrol or detective work or polygraph or tactical rescue unit, intelligence and drugs uh, was all here. Uh, once I left and uh, got into the deputy and chief world, uh, not so much operational, uh, administrative, and here to support the men and women on the front lines, but all of my personal operational roots were here, uh, which was certainly uh, wonderful to return to. So what would you say, I mean, you mentioned that it is a very a big community, Halton, spread out into the city and the three towns. What do you think is the biggest challenge facing the Halton Region Police Force right now? You know, there's there, there's many. I mean, staffing is always going to be an issue. COVID aside, we're we're dealing with that and uh, and holding our own right now. Uh, thankful to our our people that are living that uh, terrible dream for the past two years, but we we will get through that. Um, staffing is always an issue and keeping pace with growth. I mean, Halton is one of the fastest growing regional municipalities, but especially Milton. Uh, Milton was 30,000 people years ago, one high school when I played football in Oakville against Milton. Uh, now they're 130,000 and they're going to be moving to be a population of about 300,000 in the next 10 to 15 years. So it's tremendous growth in the region that we need to work with our political partners at the region and with our municipalities to keep reasonable pace with growth. 
Um, but we're also lucky. We're, uh, we have one of the lowest crime uh, reported crime rates and crime severity index. And our members are solving more crime than most of our comparators. So we're very proud of that, but it's a, it's a growing community. And one of the things that we will always be impacted uh, by are crime trends coming out of not just the city of Toronto, but the GTA. Uh, when we when we attempt to better address guns and gangs and uh, violence on the streets and the dealing of fentanyl and opioids and human trafficking. Uh, human trafficking is everywhere, just as much in Halton as anywhere. We're on the QEW and the 401 corridor. Uh, so it, it's just a uh, uh, such a, a rich environment, unfortunately, for those people that are targeting young women and, and bringing them into that terrible human trafficking world. So we will be fighting against that. And, uh, you know, we're on the equity, diversity, inclusion. It's not just within our police services. It's what, what are we doing with our communities uh, to make sure that everyone is and also feels equally served and protected? Because that is what we are here for, uh, to serve every single citizen of Halton, regardless of backgrounds, cultures, lifestyles, we are here for everybody. And that's something that we need to work at every day uh, to keep and maintain the, the trust with our community and the credibility with those we serve. Well, Chief Tanner, obviously you're someone that has been dedicated uh, to your work and the force for many years. I wanted to end on a bit of a personal note with you though. I mean, you currently are the longest serving police chief in Canada. You've, you've put in your time. I'm just curious if there is a plan for the future for you. And I, I see that you must love your work, but how long do you think you might be doing the work? <laughs> well, it's a good question. You know, uh, I was saying uh, to someone earlier today, I, I know every police chief pretty much in Ontario and sometimes across Canada that have retired in the last 20 years. Some services have had four or five police chiefs in the past 20 years. So it's, uh, I've certainly seen people retire uh, but I also say to people, if you do something you truly love, you never have to work a day in your life. And uh, I heard a broadcaster speak uh, not too long ago about this is not a have to job. This is I, I get to job. Uh, so I get to be a police officer. I get to be a police chief. I don't have to be, um, but I get to be and, and I enjoy it. So as long as I can, uh, you know, have that feeling and motivation that I'm helping those people that work with our organization and for us our members and uh, and the community we serve because that's really the only reason we exist is the safety and security of every citizen in Halton or outside of our borders. Um, I don't see leaving this uh, profession anytime soon in the next five years or so, uh, probably. I think there's always a time to, uh, you know, turn things over and, and people coming up that need and deserve those opportunities. But uh, not in the uh, immediate foreseeable future. It's uh, something, there's work to be done and there's further improvements to be made in, uh, in relationships and race relations and discrimination and racism in Halton and across Ontario. So I'm looking forward to those challenges. Well, thank you very much for your time today and, I, and I'm gonna let you get back to policing. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it very much. And thank you to your TV. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm.